All right, so the CR10 SE here comes in this box. It's a decent size. We got a little picture here. It shows what the printer looks like. The dimensions of the box in centimeters and the shipping label says 12 kilograms, which is about 25 pounds. Let's go ahead and open it up. So we got soft black foam. And here we can see how everything's packed. So we got the manual and some other documentation. There are quite a few parts and we will looks like have to do some assembly here. So we got the spool holder with the detector attached to it. It actually comes with two spool holder parts, a cable bracket, some snippers. Uh, this is quite interesting, a plunger to clean out the hot end. This could be useful. A light bar looks like that we need to install. Very cool, I like how that comes with the printer. And this is quite useful because you can get some nice lighting from the top. Looks like we got our screen display. Power cable, US type, looks like about four feet long. A little coil of filament, looks like in white PLA. And here we have a bag of hardware, which includes tools, some bolts, wrenches. Looks like our USB drive is there and yeah, everything we need to put the printer together. All right, so that's everything for this. Here you guys can see, we got the upper portion and then the base underneath. All right, so I'm just gonna pull it out. And wow, this has pretty good weight right away. Looks very nice and polished. And we have a linear rails. That's awesome. Also, we do have dual Z-axis motors with lead screws that are tethered with the belt on top. And so on the very bottom, we got our base. Very well protected. And we're just gonna pull it straight out. And that's everything for the box. And let's bring the base back in and we'll flip it upside down and actually guys before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and take off this PEI sheet which is a flexible really nice build plate and yeah the reason we're gonna flip this printer around is because I want to see what we got underneath so it looks like there's only four little bolts we got to take out so let's go ahead and grab our bag of stuff so we do get a USB thumb drive some grease and this could be quite useful to grease the lead screws and whatnot else a few bolts here to put the printer together and some tools which includes a double-sided open wrench 10 and 12 millimeters and also some allen wrenches flat head screwdriver and some open-ended wrenches so let's grab the wrench we need for these little bolts and we'll go ahead and take them off all right and so this should just pop off and there we go we do have a fan connected here to the board i'm going to go ahead and plug that and you guys can see the type it is, and it's a pretty thick bottom here, metal plate. All right, so this is what's underneath. So we can see right onto the front here, we have a pretty large storage, and this is what's dedicated here. So the whole base here, or the shell at least, is plastic, you guys can see, and we have metal extrusion actually, or a piece here, and it does look like maybe it's cast aluminum or something like that, it looks very nice actually. It's like a H brace that kind of keeps everything together and the gantry mounts to it right here on both ends so yeah very nice design and also the y-axis mounts right in the middle here so looking at the board here not too much to see it looks quite generic and boards are getting simpler and simpler so this is Creality's clipper style board which is similar or same that they use on the k1 we only have three heat sinks just for the x y and z as the z is tethered together overall very clean execution We've got power coming in here from the power supply and a bunch of other wires going out so the supply is Creality branded 24 volts 350 watts everything looks nicely crimped and routed here and this is where our power input comes here from the side on and off switch on the back and this ribbon cable here is for the plug-in accessories and also we have rubber feet on four corners that are actually connected to the aluminum cast frame so 